Hello, Jimberon Bay fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sands Three Minutes Max. In today's episode, I want to address uh, a question that came from an email I received. And I was quite happy to receive this email uh, because it showed that someone, uh, when they had a, a question, they reached out and asked it rather than just assuming and, and foraging on their own. And when you're new to the industry, that's exactly what we need to do. We need to reach out to the resources we have in our circles. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, paraphrase the question. And uh, the emailer said, uh, was referring to our uh, uh, Forensics 498 material and said, uh, in your training material, you say that the first thing a responder should be doing upon determining that a computer is in a running state is to isolate it from any networks. Is this really the first thing? Should a responder not first acquire the RAM in order to know that he has all the ongoing network connections? Uh, great, great question. And the answer is, uh, it depends. Now, in the training material as it's stated, that is us not knowing anything else. We've walked in, we've been told to collect the computers, we don't know a lot about the case or what might be happening in the background, and so then in that case, we do wanna isolate it from the network. We don't know if there's ransomware at play, we don't know if there's data exfiltration at play, we don't know if there's a potential for remote access to de destroy data, uh, we have no visibility. And so while I can absolutely see where the question came from, uh, I mean, hey, we want outgoing network connections. Yeah, we do, but there's going to be uh, other places where we can get an indication of that. Whereas if the RAM gets zapped or the computer gets zapped, uh, we lose that visibility. So again, it all depends on what your goal is. If it's specific to, I need to know outgoing network connections to the exclusion of all else, I'll take my chances then maybe that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, collect the RAM that way or something more quickly, open up a terminal and do a net stat or, uh, or some command to see what your outgoing connections are so that you can capture them in that way and then move quickly onto the RAM. Folks, it has a lot to do with what your situation is. There is no one uh, uh, perfect way to do it given a certain uh, situation. If I walk up and I see that ransomware is absolutely uh, trashing the machine at any given time, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull the plug and uh, I, at the risk of losing the RAM, quite frankly. So it's it's all, uh, what, what are we faced with? What's our situation? But fantastic question, sir. Uh, and so we're going to continue on. I'm going to be telling some stories uh, uh, in the following week. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.